you know, the finality really is a problem. It, it, it enjoys near primacy, I think, as, as a value in our system and needs to be demoted um, in, a, in the hierarchy of values. And there's no question, I think, under, quite understandably, just as a human matter, that police and prosecutors get invested in the correctness of the outcome. They don't want to get it wrong. They don't want to lock up an innocent person. And so there, I think there becomes an enormous personal need uh, to believe that you got it right, that you've not done a horrible injustice to somebody if you know, a lengthy prison term or even a short jail term um, is imposed. We also have an adversarial system and lawyers want to win. We, you know, we all want to win. And it's easy to say at a forum or, you know, in, in a public speaking opportunity, it's easy for a prosecutor to say, well, of course, doing justice is my first obligation and I try to honor that. But day to day in the scrum of a courtroom uh, with the, you know, the, the 40 cases that this prosecutor will see called this morning and another 40 this afternoon, that can get lost. Um, and I think that there's a cynicism too that, that infects almost everyone um, in the criminal justice system where guilt is seen only in shades of gray and the, the hypothesis of innocence is, is very easily forgotten. Mm -hmm.